Well guys, it's time for another Flashaholic Urbex Workbench review. Today I'm going to present you the newest family member of Sofian, the SP36 Pro LED with 8000 lumens. I got the cool white version at the moment. They only sell this version on Amazon. As we know it from Sofian, the cardboard boxing is nothing spectacular, but that's not what counts, so we are going to have a closer look. At the inside we have the manual in English as well as German and some other languages USB-C cable so big plus for Sofian that they always use USB-C cables other big brands still use micro USB which is in my eyes outdated two spare o-rings and then, of course, the SP36 Pro. From the design, they did not change anything from the standard SP36, which I also got in cool white, as you can see. Nothing changed except for the LEDs. And it's also identical to the SP36 BLF version with neutral white LEDs. As you can see, the side button is not enlightened, so as always, firstly unscrew the tube and remove the plastic protection. This one is quite sticky. So as soon as this one is gone, we can have a closer look at the inner of the head. Of course, it comes with three 18650 batteries with 3000 milliamps. I really like the Sofen batteries, never had a problem with them before. Then as you can see, there's three springs at the bottom. We can further unscrew it. Here in the tail cap you have to loosen the three screws to get to the springs. We can see the threads run really smoothly. So the machining of the Sofin lights is outstanding. Nothing to criticize here. As you can see, uh, there are no springs in the head. So it's always better to use button top batteries because flat top Batteries will not uh, work in this flashlight. This thread also really runs smoothly as you can see. Now the light is on. If you want to switch off the side button illumination or uh, change it to a brighter mode, you need to click the side click seven times from the off mode. As you can see, now it is brighter. The SP36 Pro also has the Unreal software. So uh, I'm not going into all the details of uh, the software because it's quite complex. And there are so many videos out there that describe all the features of this uh, firmware. So uh, I think that's not necessary. As you can see, we have the side switch brighter now. And have a closer look at the USB port which you can see is nicely sealed by the rubber USB cover it's a bit a pity that they don't provide spare USB covers as we saw it in the last video where True Knight gives uh, three USB covers with the flashlight it would be nice to at least have one spare part I always prefer if the USB-C port or the recharging port is uh, sitting uh, inside so that you have to unscrew the battery tube and for example find it somewhere here um, that makes it easier to uh, be waterproof according to the EPX8 standard or uh, other standards. So I'd say we have a closer look at the user manual and the technical specifications of the SP36 Pro. 
So here's the manual. As you can see, it's the same for the SP36BLF version as well as the SP36 Pro. Um, so they always put the Pro version into brackets. As you can see, it uh, produces 2300 lumens more than the BLF version. That's due to the different LED type in the BLF version. They use four Samsung LH351D LEDs that produce a nice neutral white uh, color. However, the four SST40s from Luminous that are in the Pro version, they produce uh, more lumen, more beam distance, uh, but therefore they produce cold white light. So as you can see, we have 8000 lumen in the turbo mode versus one lumen in the moonlight mode. We have 450 meters of maximum beam distance, 51,000 candela peak beam intensity, drop resistant to drops from a height of one meter, waterproof according to the standard of EPX8, but therefore you need to pay attention that the USB cover is tightly See, for the dimensions, we have 126.7 millimeters of length times 50 millimeters of body and head diameter. Working voltage is 2.8 volts to 4.2 volts, so you can only use three 18650 batteries and don't uh, experiment with 6CR123 batteries. We have a toughened glass lens, we have mode memory, well that's uh, nothing special for this flashlight because it has end drill. We have a smooth reflector for maximum beam distance. And then here they also tell you that you need to use button top batteries, that's what I told you earlier. So for the weight of the flashlight it's 300 grams without battery, so about 400 grams including the batteries. And then they tell you all the stuff of Android user interface. So I'm not going into any details here because there are plenty of videos about it and uh, I could talk 30 minutes about all the different functions that you can get. So the main features are one click to turn the flashlight on, hold it down to switch to the different levels. As you can see now it uh, is in the uh, ramping mode if you want to switch it to seamless dimming you just need to click the side switch three times while it is on blinks and now it's the smooth ramping I personally prefer this one then if you want to get direct access to the moon you just need to click it down for a while it will Go on in the moon mode, instant turbo with a double click. Either if it's on or off, you always get turbo from double click. By unscrewing the tail cap for not even half a turn, you can lock the flashlight, but you can also lock it uh, with the Unreal user interface. But all that clicking is complicated and I prefer to just unscrew the tail cap. So what I miss from Sofian is that they would start producing holsters for these flashlights because this flashlight you can still fit it in a pocket but I would prefer a sturdy holster where you could put it on the belt and uh, take it better with you if you are on the run or outdoors. So for the rest I think that's pretty much it. I say uh, we're going to compare the three ones outdoors so that you can see which light color suits you best. My favorite is the BLF because it has a really nice uh, neutral white light color here on the workbench. You don't see that much but you can still see that this one is warmer than this one. The standard version is also a bit warmer but still not so warm as the BLF version. So overall, uh, I'm really happy with the Sofan flashlights. I say that uh, they improve their quality from light to light that they produce. Um, 
the prices are really reasonable it's perfect for beginners because you have the charging possibility you have the batteries that come with it so uh, the price is quite competitive compared to other expensive flashlight brands um, so it's no low budget anymore as they started but they are really good uh, flashlight producer now and uh, they, they have great support if there's a problem so I'm really a big fan of Sofian seeing from where they come to where they are now um, it's quite impressive well I'd say let's head out do a quick beam shot comparison of these three and then we're going to come to a short conclusion see you outside well guys here we are outside finally stopped raining it's now freezing cold we have temperatures around minus 10 degrees Celsius here we have the SP36 Pro going to ramp up turbo mode so as you can see it's really bright nice beam distance so here we have the standard SP36 I'm going to show you once more the SP36 Pro as you can see it's brighter but the beam pattern of the normal SP36 pleases me more as well as the light color the Pro version is a lot cooler now we are going to have a look at the BLF version as you can see it's really nice neutral white but it produces a decent amount less lumens comparison so overall if you're just looking for more lumens the SP36 Pro is what you're going for but uh, personally I prefer the BLF version with the nice light color and the more balanced beam pattern but the SP36 Pro just shows that they are still evolving with the LED emitters that's the way every flashlight producer needs to go to keep up with the new technologies so overall I like the three SP36 versions um, there's not a lot to say against the lights the only thing I really would wish for and I also informed Sofin about it that uh, lights uh, in this size category should be delivered with uh, a holster so that you can carry them around on the belt uh, while hiking or while using it at your outdoor activities. So I really hope that you like this review. As always stay tuned for future reviews and please make sure to leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you soon guys, bye!